The Peaks of Otter are located in southwest Virginia. It is composed of three peaks, Harkening Hill, Flat Top, and Sharp Top. The most popular for hikers is Sharp Top, which consists of a strenuous 1.5 mile hike to the peak, where hikers are rewarded with a 360 degree panoramic view. But how did the landscape evolve to give us this amazing view? To better understand that, we have to look back at the geologic history of the area. You know, these, all these mountains here are basically pieces of the continent that have been sheared off and parked up there during collision events. The rocks found at the top of Peaks of Otter is known as Charnakite. When compared to a granitoid from Mount Rogers, the rocks look very similar. However, some distinguishing features in Charnakite include a greenish hue, and elongated quartz, orthopyroxene, and plagioclase crystals. And some of those charnakites appear to have been uh, formed, you know, within plates, but some of them are, are actually possibly in a volcanic rift environment, island arc environment, and that's just... These environments formed a tough to erode rock, explaining the high relief of sharp top when compared to surrounding land, which is composed of softer rock. In fact, the relief is so high compared to the surrounding area that Thomas Jefferson thought sharp top was the tallest mountain in Virginia, and he sent off a block of charnakite as Virginia's contribution to the Washington Monument. So this, this relief we're seeing now is not the oldest mountain range in the world. Wow. And there are old structures exposed. All those structures are really old, but they're sort of recently been unloaded. So how did these rocks get on Earth? This is best seen with the Blue Ridge Escarpment. The Blue Ridge Escarpment marks the change from the Blue Ridge Mountains to the lower elevation and smaller foothills of the Piedmont. The Blue Ridge Escarpment can be seen from the summit of Sharptop and is an important part of the formation of the Peaks of Otter. The Blue Ridge Escarpment is eroded through a process known as stream capture. In stream capture, a river, in this case the Roanoke River, will run along pre-existing fractures in the land. The water then erodes the land further, forming a wider gap. This erosion will continue to widen the fracture until the position of the escarpment will actually move backwards, thus unearthing old buried rocks such as charnakite. In today's Appalachian Mountains, river systems strongly control the character of topography within their basin. Uh, what that means is that rivers that drain to the Atlantic Ocean tend to have a specific range of topographic relief in their basins. They also have what's essentially a limited range of maximum elevations within their basin. Likewise, river systems that drain to the Gulf of Mexico tend to have their own sort of characteristic topography and elevation range. And in order to understand the Peaks of Otter, we have to be able to compare these two different river systems and their distinct topographies. The elevation map we have here actually allows us to visualize the distinct topographies that are associated with particular river systems. Here in far southwest Virginia, a very sort of uniformly high elevation area, this is all draining to the Ohio River, the Mississippi, and the Gulf of Mexico. To the northeast, where Peaks of Otter is located, you see very low ele elevations with isolated high peaks. So the amount of elevation difference here is very different from what you see to the southwest and this entire area is draining to the Atlantic Ocean. So here we have Atlantic Basin topography versus Gulf of Mexico topography. The steep relief and very sharp topography at Peaks of Otter is interesting because it fits into what's an increasingly accepted conceptual model for why river systems are laid out like they are in this part of the Appalachians. The idea is that much of this area once looked like the Blue Ridge Plateau today, and all of this would have drained into the Gulf of Mexico. Atlantic Basin streams at lower elevation have eaten their way into this elevated topography. They've captured those elevated streams. The increased gradient in those streams has driven very rapid erosion, and valleys have been etched out within the past few tens of millions of years. So this is very much young topography. The mountains didn't get taller, but the valleys got lower, and they did so in what would be fairly recent geologic history in the context of evolution of the Appalachian Mountains. So this gives you an overview of the geologic importance of the Peaks of Otter and why they look the way they do. So what else can you see at the Peaks of Otter? Well, you should keep an eye out for the B-25D airplane wreckage near the summit of Sharptop. And if you're lucky, you might find the Peaks of Otter salamander, which can only be found in the Peaks of Otter area. We hope you enjoy your trip to the Peaks of Otter and thank you for watching.